Yo, what's good? This your boy Elza, I represent Elmatic, and you checking out the Hip Hop Chronicle UK, baby. It's like that. Shake me out, show. It's Elza in your area. About to back slap and bury it. You're a man of the moment in some ways because you dropped an incredible project. I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. I tell you why. When you do a classic project, when you cover classic projects or classic songs, yeah, it can backfire on you. Oh yes. Because you're covering something monumental. No doubt. But you managed to take it into a whole new direction. Oh man. I mean, you know, I just wanted to put a little twist on it, man, give it like some live instrumentation. Yeah. So I reached out with my man's Will Session and uh yeah, Will Session the dope. band came through and uh put it all together. He dope, man. He was, well, was it's, just... a, it's a five it's it's an eight piece band by the way. Eight piece band. Eight piece they're touring band. with you, right? Huh? And they're touring with you, right? Uh yeah, we're we're getting tour dates together as we speak. Yeah, that's gonna be hot. Yeah, uh, we 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 we're gonna get a date in London, what's good? Oh man. I have, hey. do I have to talk to your manager about saying a show up? Straight up. <laughs> Holla at Jay Barber. Well, we, we, we have to do that. So, El, El Mag as a concept. When was it born, that concept? Well, the, the concept was born three years ago. Yeah. But the actual, like, album was born within, like, a month and a half. Right. A month and a half? A month and a half. This is how you work. I mean, it just kind of flowed like that. You know, like, I was with it. Like, the, the, the band members was with it. Yeah. And we just all came together. So how come it took so long from that three years to the month and a half? So much, man. I mean, I was going through situations with uh, Slum. I was going through yeah. situations with Barack Records. Yeah. And, you know, life was just getting in the way. And then, you know, tributes was coming out yeah. left and right. Yeah. And I didn't want to do it. Then I wanted to do it yeah. because the fans wanted me to do it. So... How have you have you seen yourself develop as a person through all that shit? Oh man, I mean, just a little bit more wiser, a little bit smarter, uh, just handling my business the correct way, yeah. and, and on the grind even harder. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah. Come back bigger and stronger. That's it. Elevate. I gonna tell you, like, I was listening to um, Detroit State of Mind. It's one line. I'm gonna read it to you because I'm, I'm not gonna try to spit off the head because I'll, I'll mess up. Okay. He said they hit you with the setup. You're like this, Tony. They hit you with the setup. I see him on my own too. The hood is like a glass house that the devil st uh, throws stones through. Ooh! <laughs> the hell would you come up with that kind of concept? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's the streets, man. <laughs> damn, I was like, yo, I was just like, I picture this devil shit that from the stone through the wood. I was like, damn, that's painting pictures. That's what's up. And that's in the same vein yeah. as Nas. Yeah. Because yeah. that's has vivid imagery. Yeah. I, I mean, was like, and that's another reason why we did the tributes because, you know, Nas, I'm a big fan of Nas. Yes. And, and, and Nas made me want to paint pictures. Yeah. So he inspired me to do that. But that oh, man, dude, that was really? a lie. I had to stop oh, that when. It was like I had to stop the MP3 because we're not in cassettes anymore. <laughs> I had to stop the MP3 and rewind that shit. Right. Now that, that was up now. That's what's up. about Detroit. They birth a lot of great dope MCs. Yeah. I feel mm -hmm. the cons there's, there's, there's this thing where I don't feel that Detroit gets the respect mm. it deserves. Yeah. They talk about, yo, New York is this, Atlanta's this. Don't, Detroit never really comes out of those conversations. Not really. And then I think one of the reasons is it's not really any major labels in Detroit. You know? Oh. And, 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 I, and I feel like people just aren't aware of the influence that Detroit has in the game. Yeah. And, and when you look at somebody like Jay Dilla, yeah. like, Jay Dilla had a lot of influence over everybody. And everybody loved Jay Dilla. That's why you got tributes in London and Miami, yeah. as well as like LA and Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not for even. Okay. Right. So back, back, to <laughs> El, back to El Mike. Why Royce as your AZ? Why choose him? Man, me and Royce been doing cuts since I was like 16, 17. <laughs> So we go way back. We got infinite amount of records. Um, when I thought about Life's a Bitch, that was the first person I thought about. Really? Straight up, like Royce, all, automatic. Wow. Not even a second thought. Well, that's interesting. I thought you might, you know, take an obscure little cat, just like you know, like Nas did with Daisy, like take a little cat, put him on, get him a deal, you know? Yeah, no, nah, I was just like, ah, uh, Royce gotta be, he gotta be Az in this, uh, in this tribute. Nah, I know, I, I like that. Now I'm gonna take you down memory lane. Okay. 
Because you talk, you know, you, you do a good cover of Memory Lane. You worked at the hip hop shop, right? Yeah. You saw T3 when he was slim? <laughs> You saw T3 when he was slim? I saw T3 when he was slim. I can't imagine him slim. Watching a lot of peace battle women now. That's the runner. Really? Side. Yeah. The hell? You can't even imagine him slim. Can no. You imagine him slim with dreads. With dreads? Oh, he had dreads? Dreads and he was slim. He was slim. And, he, and, and Eminem was battling there? Eminem was battling there. Everybody was battling. Actually, Proof. I remember when my man Proof was battling this guy named T the Pimp and right. made the pimp in his name stand for Proof is my pop. Ooh. <laughs> Crazy, right? Proof is my pop. Proof oh, is damn. my pop. Where else did you see a hip hop show? Oh man, I mean, take me, take, take me down memory lane. I'm from London. I won't never get to all see right, Troy. All, right, all, right, all right, well, let me let me break it down briefly. Like the hip hop shop was owned by this cat named Maurice Malone. Yeah. Okay. Now, from four to six on Saturday was the open mic. Right. Proof used to host the open mic. Right. And not only did you have Eminem in the hip hop shop, but I was in the hip hop shop. Yep. Slum Village, yep. Fat Cat, yep. uh, Guilty Simpson, Royce the Five Nine, uh, Ob Trice, all the members of D12, Swifty, you name it. Everybody was up in there. So anybody that you know that and came out the D. It's probably up in the hip hop shop. Did anyone have a camera? A lot of cameras. And and that's crazy that you said that because we're taking some of the footage from that era and, and making it into the memory beautiful. lane video. Beautiful, beautiful. That I heard that large professor reached out. Yeah. What, what was he saying? You know what? The large professor has been trying to reach out to me. Yeah. And I had to dip and go on this tour. Oh. When I get back, I'm going to get at him. But uh, he's been trying to reach out to, you know, give a quote, you know. Oh, you know, bad. Give, give his stamp of approval. No, I love that because I see, I see the Pete Rock shout out. Pete Rock's like, that's amazing to have that. Yeah. I don't Pete know what that's. Me and Pete go way back though. Yeah? yeah. You go way back too? Oh, yeah. We didn't did, we didn't did tours. You know what I'm saying? We got songs that ain't nobody heard. Who are you, man? Who are you? <laughs> you know, damn. I'm the, I'm the wordplay wizard, the syllable sense. Shit. Like. You go way like that. Like, like, Pete Rock's a dope. Like, I love that. I love that guy right there. That's like, what's up. Yeah. You know, the only problem I got, the only problem I got with you, Elzai, yeah. is you release shit for free that should be releasing that people should pay for. People should be paying for your music. You're releasing it for free. Yeah. I got a gripe with that. <laughs> I got a gripe with that. You got a gripe with that? No, I got a gripe with that. You, have, you got to put, if you can put out music like you're putting out, you have to charge people. Man, you know. I mean, it's when, good to give when, a when the, al when the album drop later on this year. Are you start? Have you start working on that? We, I started working on it. You know, I'm trying to get in the groove to see what kind of sound I want. Okay. But uh, for the most part, yeah, I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the studio working real hard. You nice. know what I'm saying? Trying to make sure it come out later on this year. But is it going to be like, have you, have, you, have you thought ahead of as to whether it's going to be you or you have some features on there? Uh, I know one feature I'm going to have for sure is uh, with my man Fine Tech. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, me and him, they got on the phone together and said he's going to be down. A couple producers said they was gonna be down. Yeah, so, I heard you so. talking about Alchemist. Yeah, yeah, Alchemist, yeah. you know. Okay. He okay. talks with a lot of other people. So, you know. And talks a lot of people. They named them. I'm, you know, know what I'm saying? A couple other people, you know. <laughs> you know, uh, Madeline talking to my manager, Jay Barber. Oh, nice. You know. Can I get some beats on there, too? Huh? I rhyme, you know. Are oh, you rhyme, too? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm dope. Why don't you bust a free Shit, I'm, yo, Elza, I'm so dope, right, that my style ain't free. Shit ain't free out here. It ain't free. If you drop a freestyle, I drop a freestyle. <laughs>